Welcome back everyone. I purchased a new dining room table before the holidays and in this short video I'll be showing you how I use Scotchgard to protect the seat cushions. So if you want to learn how to protect fabric on your furniture, stay tuned and let's go. So these are the materials I use to protect and treat the chairs for this particular project. Plastic wrap for around the legs for the overspray, two cans of Scotchgard fabric water shield spray cans because I have 10 chairs to treat and although we'll go through some of them, make sure you read the instructions and warnings for your project and check out all the other listed items you can use Scotchgard to help protect. It's not for just furniture, there are a whole bunch of other different Scotchgard products for even more applications. Now I want to show you another item I purchase and install when I get new furniture that will be placed on my laminate wood flooring. I always install nail-on felt pads. These are one and a half inch and I just order them from Amazon. The largest you can fit, the longer they last. They have a cylindrical steel nail on the back and you hammer them on and that will protect your wood floors. Also makes it easier for your guests to slide the chairs in and out from the table. Okay, so you need to protect anything that's non-fabric from overspray, especially metal. If you do, wipe it off immediately. Now I couldn't get this plastic wrap started. It wouldn't stick to itself. You know what scene this reminded me of? can break through walls, I just can't That's fine. get That's this. Fine. <clears throat> so, Ms. I don't know, maybe I had the roll backwards? Does anybody know if that matters? So after a few more tries, I give up and I grab painter's tape. I'm persistent, don't like to give up on things, but sometimes you gotta move on. Sticking painter's tape on the end of the plastic wrap made this step much easier, especially because I have to do this eight times for eight out of the 10 chairs. And because of that, I'm only gonna show you this once on this first chair to move things along. But like anything you are doing for the first time, it got much easier as I got going and did the rest of the chairs. You get your technique down. Once I got the legs wrapped, I also held the other end with some tape. Then I just wrapped the tape right under the cushion to ensure the plastic wrap didn't slip down. And anywhere else the plastic wasn't tight. Here's a shot how it came out. And don't spin your chair on your table unless you put a piece of cardboard down to protect it or have those nice felt pads on the legs. Now I highly recommend you spray outside. If it's winter and you live up north, wait for spring to treat your furniture. If it's heavy like a couch, get help and get it outside or in your garage. So as you see, I have a big piece of plastic that I use when I paint crown molding or baseboards and the eight chairs with exposed legs wrapped in plastic ready to be sprayed. After shaking the can, you hold it six inches from the fabric overlapping the spray using a slow sweeping motion. Two light coats is better than one heavy coat. Watch how I spray left to right and what they mean by overlapping the spray is now I go up and down. Again, a light sweeping motion. Then I get the edge of the chair back, finally get in the back of the chair. Repeating by going left to right, then up and down. I'll speed up the video after these first two chairs, but I want to demonstrate how to do this before I do. Now as you can see, this chair is completely wrapped in fabric, so I really want to get this one really good, predicting guest shoes touching the bottom area during their meal. I'll try to make sure my wife and I sit on these chairs with only socks on. The instructions recommend doing a test area and that the fabric might look slightly darker. I didn't experience that. Once it dried, the color looked the same. Guys, this is really easy to do. You really want to protect your furniture. Scotchgard Fabric Water Shield helps repel water-based spills without changing the feel of the fabric. That means you can wipe the surface clean before the mess sinks in. There's no smell after drying, slight smell during applying. Depending on your sensitivity level, you can consider wearing a respiratory mask, gloves, even goggles if it's windy. I feel it's necessary to mention this is a chemical. Do your own research. You have to decide what you're comfortable with, where, and what items you want to treat. I personally wouldn't treat pillowcases or anything like that. So finishing this chair up, notice how I started holding the trigger down and moving the spray back and forth because it was too hard to keep pushing the trigger up and down. I needed one of those aerosol trigger handles for 10 chairs, but I was still being careful not to oversaturate. Okay, time to finish this up and get to the reveal. Now you have to let it dry between coats at least 30 minutes, but that dry time varies. In my garage outside, it dried pretty fast. And I'm not gonna bore you showing you the second coat, so I didn't film that, but I did apply a second identical application to ensure my light color fabric chairs were protected. Okay, the final step is to remove the plastic wrap. I set up my portable shop table with a board on it so I don't have to bend down as I did this. They say to reapply every six months or after a clean. I do it every few years for these chairs because we only use them a few times a year. Check out when I pulled this tape, a little peach fuzz came off. So be careful taping only the wood. Don't get tape on the fabric, then spray over it. Now in case this doesn't work, there's a plan A and a plan B. 
My plan B is a can of upholstery cleaner, on the ready. Okay guys, my dining room table and chairs are ready for my family holiday dinners. I purposely got a table with 10 chairs to fit everybody at one table. Check it out, everybody fit and had a great time. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video helped you out when you go to treat your furniture with Scotch Card. Please remember to hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and be sure to subscribe to see more home DIY videos like this. Also hit that bell icon. Click on any of these links on the screen to check out my other home DIY videos. One I show you how I add an awesome heavy light in my foyer. The other I show you how to transform a closet in my daughter's room with wood shelving from Lowe's. Bye everyone.